All right, y'all. So, uh, you know, I know I've been covering a lot of Miami content recently, man. But uh, another big one, um, Gregory Russo, well, arguably the best pass rusher in the country, top five pick in the NFL draft or projected top five pick in the draft. Uh, he's opting out. And, um, you know, we talked about this before, um, you know, with the Virginia Tech um, kid. Um, I forgot what his name was, but um, cornerback was a projected first round pick. Again, the name's escaping me. Hopefully you guys can help me out with that. He opted out, and I think ever since then it kind of started the trend of top players that are starting to opt out. Now, this is this is realistic, right? This is, you know, COVID, with the whole COVID situation. A lot of these players are projected as draft picks. We can see a lot of them opt them out. That, you know, now, again, the beauty about college football is, is that there's always new players. to. It's not like the NFL, how um, the NFL keeps um, – like if you lose, if you lose like this specific player, how is going to drop ratings and stuff like that down? Um, college football, there's hundreds of thousands of, there's thousands of Division One college players. Um, if one player, if one player leaves, another player is going to step up, can you know step up, take their place, and then they can get that notice and potentially be a draft pick. So I think that's the difference between losing an NFL star and a college football star. But you know, I'm not shocked at all that this happened. Um, Gregory Russo is a beast. He's a top five. He's a projected draft pick. Micah Parsons decided to opt out too. And, you know, I feel like Russo was more of a, I think Russo's probably going to be a higher draft pick or maybe not. But I feel like going into this year, Russo was better. Russo was, was the guy, or at least last season he was better because he was more, he was an elite player. This is a guy that was one of the league leaders in sacks, dominated the ACC. And Micah Parsons had flashes. He had a, he had a bunch of, you know, he had flashes but he really wasn't as consistent as Russo was. Russo was a straight monster almost every single game. So definitely huge for the University of Miami to lose a all-star player like him, like Russo himself. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to protect your family. You got to protect yourself. And, um, you know, you don't want to really risk having, you know, you don't want to really risk having COVID and then it's affecting your family. So I completely get the decision. Again, I, can, I get every decision at all. If any player or anybody wants to opt out, you want to be safe. Um, but it does suck for the University of Miami that you lose your best player, um, especially that, you know, momentum is definitely swinging towards Miami's favor. So uh, I'm going to make a video about Micah Parsons pretty soon, my reaction to that too, but it's going to be very similar to this one with Russo, just a big loss for Miami, and I, I will say a little bit of a big loss for college football of losing a potential, um, you know, Chuck McNair type of award winner, you know, candidate. So um, let me know how you guys feel about this below the comment section. We can definitely hash this out before. Uh, anyway, Jan716, stay safe. I'm out. Peace.